My part will be today to show how to uh, connect uh, Enterprise Manager with OCI. So usually Enterprise Manager is somewhere uh, in your on-premise data center with firewalls around it. And so so somehow we have to get data to OCI. And, and this is a concept we are, we are talking about a cloud bridge here. So this is a, let's say, an um, on-premise data center, traditional data center. You have a different database uh, hosts there, targets hosts. Uh, and uh, this data is transferred using the cloud bridge to OCI. And we are using as mechanism for this uh, the um, object storage. And so we will declare a bucket that's where um, Enterprise Manager is uploading on a regular base data into these buckets or multiple buckets, uh, different, for example, we can use one bucket for different services like Login Analytics, Operations Inside, and we have a warehouse, uh, but you can, of course, create mul multiple buckets, multiple bridges. So anyhow, so this is about from here, the different services, they are picking uh, up the data from the object storage. And so that's how the data gets continually uh, continuously into the services. So this is setting up. So what I will demo uh, right now is it's a one-time action. So it's done uh, at the beginning to set up the bridge and then uh, the data uh, flows automatically from <clears throat> enterprise manager to uh, and, and the targets to the uh, to, to OCI. Okay, let me go to the next slide. Oops. So here are the steps which I will walk through <clears throat> and some so prereqs for this. So we need uh, to have a OCI user and, and usually this should be an, uh, not a real user. So you should create a user like OEM and then let's say the if it's a development instance, it's a production instance. So it, the name should be clear uh, that it's uh, the enterprise manager. It's uh, used only by the enterprise manager. It account does not need a password. It must have the right permissions to upload data to object storage. Um, and uh, we will create an API key, uh, key pair, an RSA uh, key pair for this user. And that's <clears throat> the key. Uh, which uh, which will allow then to um, an enterprise manager to access OCI and uh, put all the data into the object storage. So we need connectivity between the OMS target host um, and uh, the object storage URL. So there's just a single URL we are using an HTTPS uh, protocol on a default port 443. Uh, you can have, of course, a direct connection or uh, a proxy is possible. The um, to enterprise manager needs to have full access to the, uh, uh, or let's say, um, first uh, we will create a credential, uh, which is containing the API key. Uh, and then, um, uh, and this is what I've done already set up, I don't will go through it. We need preferred host credentials. And this is uh, enterprise manager needs to submit jobs to the agent so that the agents um, uh, will upload all the data from the individual uh, database host. Uh, to to OCI then, and that's why we need preferred host credentials. And um, an enterprise manager group, which is containing all the targets, the host targets, database targets, uh, operations inside will provide um, services on uh, and insights on host uh, utilizations and not just database ones. The same is for logging analytics. You have low host logs, database logs. So this is, these are the prereqs of, and okay, so, we will start uh, later on with the named credentials, which we will create um, as a gotcha. You will see later on that um, you have to provide the private key as a long string, but I will show it later on in the demo. And then this is later on. And again, I will show it in the demo how you will um, set up the uh, bridge. Here's where you find it in the menu. Um, and again, overall architecture, again, the systems, databases, they need to send the data from the individual database host and either using a proxy, you can set up a proxy on the enterprise manager, or you can use a corporate proxy and then you send it over via REST API on port 432. Um, furthermore, for the logging analytics service, 
and Richard will show both service operations inside and log analytics later on. Uh, so the, the bridge will ensure that all the target properties you have in Enterprise Manager from the OMR um, will get copied over to OCI and will be used to create entities in logging analytics. And, and what is very important, all the relationships between the different targets, database hosts, listeners, um, cluster, cluster associations, and ASM listener, uh, all the relationships between the different components will get copied over. This means you have in logging analytics later on a topology view of your stuff from OEM, you do not have to create all those associations and then all those, let's say for the database, all the connection strings to connect to the database, all the properties will be part of it, which will make later on easy uh, to collect logs from it. Um, to collect the logs, additional management agents um, will get needed to install it on the target host uh, uh, to, to upload the logs. So the enterprise manager um, agent is not able to upload the logs. So with that said, uh, let me switch to my guide I created. So the first step I will do is create um, the keys and so we use standard key to create uh, the private key and then we use a private key to create the the public key the public key needs to get then added to this user which i'm in before so let me check okay so from here so this is the oci i've already logged in so from there we will go down to identity users and you will see i have created already a user oem prod again that's why i mentioned it should you should not use a, a real user it should be a yeah a, a kind of user dedicated uh, for the cloud bridge and here uh, we will select and again you have to ensure it's this user has the right permissions here we will uh, add the api key and i will choose the public key we just created. Important here is after adding it, you should copy the configuration file preview stuff here. Let me copy it over to my scratch sheet here. So because in the next step, you will use this information. So now again, this is done in OCI. Now let's switch me back to my enterprise manager and I got kicked out. So here we will go first to security named credentials. And from here, create credential name, OCI, and shows me already. Credential type is Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Credential, there's just one single type. Uh, important here, we select a global scope, not just for one single target. And here, that's now where we have to provide those details. I just saved here, uh, tenancy ID. Then I have the user ID. and the fingerprint goes here. Okay, now I what I mentioned before, let me go back to my, we have to upload the private key, but at the moment there's no way to, to just pick it up from here. Instead of this, and you can see I have the command already here, we have to create out of the, the private key, which is a PEM file, so you have multiple lines. We have to convert the line breaks into backslash, backslash N characters, as you can see it here. So I will copy this one here and put it here again as long as I do not have not used a private key phrase. So that's all. And 
Let's save this. Okay, now we have our credentials. <clears throat> Next step is to create the cloud bridge from here. For this, I'm going again to set up and then you can see at the bottom here cloud bridge. And I select manage OCI connectivity here. I just created this one. The base URL, it's the object storage URL. And again, this is the only user. Of course, you have to ensure that you pick the right region of your tenant. So that's the, oops, this is the only URL we are accessing. So if you uh, have to open firewall uh, or this URL in, in the firewall, so that's the only one. Um, and again, on default uh, HTTPS port 443. So here, the bucket name, and again, let me go to storage, object storage <clears throat> buckets. I have created already upfront um, two buckets. Uh, again, you can use one single one, or they can be in actually different compartments as well. So depending on, on the needs of the services, if you have maybe dedicated stuff for login analytics in different compartments, so they don't have to be in one, so we can, you can use one or, or, or a different one. I will use demo operations inside. So let me copy it from here. And let me check, run a test. To validate and test is successful. So now let's click on create to create it. And it was successful. So this means we have now our bridge. Let me click on okay. Now I can enable data export. Okay, takes a while. It looks like it has not yet so let me refresh this one so give it a second in the back end okay so we have capacity planning in SQL warehouse source is the um, target target group and again I created a group upfront containing database and host targets. And then that's the one, so I, I have only one bridge, so I will select this bridge. And then I will submit a job. Uh, here it reminds you, uh, remembers you that you need to have referred host credentials. And that's all. So it will now, a um, backend job is running to set up the stuff. It will create um, scheduled jobs um, to, to upload the data. Let me see if it is now still running. Okay, now it has already, and looks like that it has already submitted uh, export. So you can later on see here, you will pick the stuff here and you have more details here. So these are the jobs uh, and you will, you will see them enterprise manager jobs as well listed there. So they will run on a schedule, um, uh, uh, on a regular schedule and will be responsible to submit the data to the object storage. Now, again, having said this, the next, the final step is now data is coming. I don't think that we have already stuff here. Let me see. No, it's not yet, data has not yet, has not yet arrived here. But anyhow, what I can demo, and this is independent if we have already data there. So again, I mentioned in the beginning, um, our product management team is responsible for observability and management products. And this is where we have here logging for logging analytics administration. Let me go first to logging analytics. You, you have under administration, EM bridges, 
that's where you create a bridge by um, demo bridge and again you pick the the bucket no? demo logging analytics operations inside so you pick the the bucket which should be used so where we are picking up the data and then you just create from here the bridge so that's all and then we are picking up the data we have everything let me cancel this and the same is for observability and management for operations inside administration it's the same here this is a bridge create bridge and again you give it demo bridge um, and you choose uh, the bucket uh, and that's that's all uh, to create the bridge and this will then ensure that the data is flowing into OCI so that's all so you set up the bridge first on from enterprise manager side ensure that data gets all copied over to the uh, object storage buckets and then from uh, the services you will set up those bridge and I think this is all I wanted to show because now Rishab will show you all the glory stuff you can do then later on with the data which we are uploading so let me stop for here or let me just switch back to the presentation I just want to mention that um, I will soon um, publish a blog um, about more details for example I didn't mention about uh, proxy details so this is there are some some more details uh, but it makes more sense to put this into a blog article so you will find all our blog uh um articles for all the other products um enterprise manager but um, the new services uh under this uh, url and now let me stop thanks <laughs>